And we're back working on the uh, generator text messaging system. And I wanted to show you a new relay that I got. And this is a Jerry uh, timer relay model, the FRM01. And uh, you can download the instructions on the internet. Uh, it's made in China. See, it's the, the typical Chinese instructions. Uh, you have to figure out what they're talking about in English. But in any event, you can look at the... Uh, at this module it's really actually pretty to look at its uh, colors are nice and I'll show you how it works it has four buttons there uh, you can program it we're not going to go in detail how it works but I'll give you a quick overview of it and the reason why we have it is because uh, we actually I actually ran into an issue with the generator um, text messaging system and uh, as I showed you in the other video you should watch that video first uh, we have the uh, XW111 hooked up to uh, a regular relay and the problem that we're having is uh, it was working well on manual if you watch that video but we had a power outage and I noticed when we had an actual power outage we had a uh, a problem in that I got I did not get a text that the generator turned on I only got a, a text that the generator when the generator did turn off and I realized that there's a problem and the problem is that uh, the way it works is the generator turn when, when there's a power outage everything here is dead and what happens then is the generator turns on and the second it turns on it sends power to the relay so the relay is the only thing on that that's energized in the house then uh, basically what happens is at first is a blackout 10 seconds for the generator to there needs to be no power for 10 seconds uh, when the utility line is dead for 10 seconds, then generator turns on, and then, like I said, at that second, it starts, it sends power directly to the relay. The relay is energized, nothing else is energized, and then 50 seconds later, the transfer switch turns the power over to the house, and that uh, at that point, the XW111 uh, gets power and the router gets power. And the problem is the router and the XW111 are getting power at the same time. And the problem with that is that the, I, I timed it. The, ra the XW111 uh, tries to send out the text message that the generator turned on. It tries to do that right away. And the problem is, although we have Fios and we have the Internet, uh, it takes a minute for the router to hook up to the Internet. So... Um, the problem is it's it's prematurely sending out that text message and it's not going through. So there's a couple of things you could do. One thing you could do is just keep the system the way it is and just use a uh, have a battery backup for the whole system. You get a battery backup, the router won't will never go dead, uh, and it'll always be ready to send out that text. Or I came up with another idea. I'm replacing the relay that I used with this relay, and the benefit of this relay is is it's a delay. Uh, you can you can program it so that when when it gets energized, it's not going to close the circuit. And I'll show you. There's uh, on the right. There's two wires. That's a DC in uh, 12 volts. A different voltages actually. We're going to be using the 12 volts. Um, I actually found the closest uh, adapter I found is a 10 volt adapter. So I use that, and that seems to work so far, just to mimic what the generator would do. The generator is going to send about 12 to 14 volts. Um, and then on the left side is the uh, the switch, the relay. Norm uh, when it's normally closed, calm, and normally open. So I'll show you how it works. And the basic idea is this: instead of the generator powering the this relay and the, triggering the the email from the XW111 right away, we want to like hold off on the triggering of the relay on over here. We, we're going to need about a three-minute delay, which is 180 seconds. And the delay is this way. It's um, 50 seconds for the generator to transfer over. In other words, when the generator turns on, it's 50 seconds for for the uh, for it to warm up, for the transfer switch to turn over to power up the house. And then plus it takes a minute for then it takes a minute for the um, the uh, router to to connect to the internet. And we'll throw in another minute just for uh, I guess just to. Uh, in case the XW111 needs some time. In other words, we're just giving it, I think, three minutes, we're fine. So I'll show you how it works. And uh, I have uh, my multimeter, my Fluke multimeter, set for continuity. And I've programmed it very simply using this. I've programmed uh, just, it's program number one, 
which means that once it's energized, it counts down 180 seconds and then it closes the relay. And uh, that's it. I just use, use timer one. I don't use timer two. And uh, it, it, you set the setting, uh, uh, the last setting. Uh, you can see there are, there are like four. I don't know if you can see it. MD, that's the program mode. That's zero one. T, then you click it again. You hit set again. And then T1 is the first timer. You just set it for 180. T2, you leave it zero. We don't need the second timer. And then NX is you just make it zero one zero one, uh, which me just means it's counting down in seconds. You could it could be minutes or hours, but we're not getting into that. Um, and that's it. So I'll show you how it works. So basically, when it gets power, it's uh, the equivalent of me plugging in the uh, the switch. So we'll do that, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so the minute it gets power, it starts to count down. It's not flickering in uh, in real life. It's just a video. It looks like the numbers are, fr are flickering. Let me see. Uh. Alright, so you see it's blinking, and uh, I'll put the lights back on. Now, if you take the, uh, the continuity test and you put it over here, nor normally open and calm, there's no continuity because it's still counting down. So at this point, this is basically where the generator turns on. And it's giving electricity just to the uh, just to this relay, and then the power comes on, and still the relay is not closing. It's giving the uh, text messaging system some time to boot up. It's giving the router. The router is now connecting the um, text. At, at some point, the text messaging system will will also have to turn on. And uh, it'll, it turns on at the same time as the router, and it gives it time to log in wirelessly to the router. And uh, that's what's going to happen. So sometime about now, uh, it'll the router should be logged should be logged in, and the text messaging system should come online. It's still not going to send out the text because the circuit isn't closed. It's not going to sense that a circuit has been made. So the basic idea is. Uh, this is really a cheap way of, of of avoiding the need for a like a battery backup system for this, because it's always gonna every time the generator turns on, it's just gonna count uh, count down uh, the three minutes. So we'll just hold on a second and uh, we'll get closer. Okay, so we have about ten seconds left, and you can see there's still no continuity. And now this continuity. You heard the click, the relay clicked. So at this point, now the texting system will just now see that um, this continuity and it will now send out the text and it'll work well. It's a nice little product, cheap, about $12. It's actually amazing that for 12 bucks you can get a high quality digital uh, switch like this. It's really impressive. I hope it's helpful. If you have any other ideas, just put it in the uh, comments.